I love Marvel all my life. Um, as, as a young person, it was uh, basically, you know, one of the first places that I, you know, I, I really learned to think about writing. And so any opportunity to, to, to write for Marvel, I mean, just, I just couldn't turn it down. Well, I, I think if you're like a young man in West Baltimore, and you know, all around you is a considerable amount of powerless, powerlessness. You probably have an attraction to people with power. I could lose myself for long periods of time uh, with comic books. I, I never had enough money to buy enough. Like, that's what I remember, like just not being able to buy enough. Because I didn't just collect the issues as they, as they came out, I collected back issues. I used to uh, keep like an inventory of all my comic books. You know, I have an inventory, I put them in the, you know, plastic bags with the black cords and I'd be like, The Black Panther is uh, T'Challa, who is the king of the mythical kingdom of uh, Wakanda. T'Challa is supposed to be his genius, uh, who can do everything. You know, fighter slash genius slash where he's basically the dream of nerds everywhere. And he's African, to, to, to be clear, but there had, there had not been uh, a black superhero in comic books quite like him before. So yeah, it was tremendously radical. I always perceived Marvel and comic books as, in general as incredibly diverse, as compared to, to, to like when you cut on the television um, or when you went to the movies. Um, I, when I came of age, there were you know black superheroes. They just were in the comic books, and very rarely did they spend much time discussing what their presence meant. They just sort of existed. That was tremendously radical for me as, as a young boy. But as a creator, you can only tell yourself. So many times, it's so cool to have this black dude doing X, Y, Z. In fact, you really shouldn't be telling yourself that at all. It's so irrelevant as to whether it works or not. You know, when you're writing, you don't really think too much. I, I don't think too much about diversity. I, you know, again, like, it, it has to be good. It's a, it's a very backwards, in my mind, process of writing. I mean, it is it's the process of writing, you know, I, I guess screenplays of, of, of writing comic books, but it's not the process of writing journalism. I've had to like totally rethink certain things, you know, if I want to introduce somebody, you know, say a villain in a scene, or even T'Challa in a scene. That's tough to do. Because in fact, before I even thought of the words, I had to think of what actually happened in the scene. So what, what was going on? You know, what is T'Challa doing? Where is T'Challa? And then you can put the words in afterwards. So it's different. Comic books work on action. Comic books work on violence and people punch, punching people. And that sounds like, you know, the obvious thing, but um, it's not something that I immediately thought about when, you know, I signed up. I don't know, I, I want this to be, you know, um, the best Black Panther run there's been. Um, I want this to be one of the best runs that Marvel has ever done. Um, and I want to elevate the stature of the character.